Hi, hi guys, today I wanted to show you how to make my apple pie cheesecake. All right, you ready? Here we go. All right, this is what I'm using to start my pie off. This is a Keebler Ready Crush shortbread, brand, shortbread kind, or you can use the, you know, original graham cracker crust kind, but I really love it in this shortbread. All right, so... What we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the ingredients. Okay, it says brush with a beaten egg or egg whites and bake for for 375 for five minutes. Alright, well when I made this the first time I didn't you know butter it or whatever. I just stuck it in just like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stick it in my oven and I'm gonna give it five minutes. Alright, I have a pan warming here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one stick of I mean half a stick of butter. I'm gonna let that melt. Half a cup of sugar. And a half a cup of brown sugar. Mm, not level, but it'll work. <laughs> Alright, that's half a cup of brown sugar, half a cup of regular sugar, and half a stick of butter. Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to let this butter melt a little bit. I'm going to add some ground cinnamon to the mix. You want a teaspoon to a tablespoon, depending on how much cinnamon you like. I like it pretty cinnamony, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to let this kind of melt down a little bit and let it, you know, kind of melt together before I put my apples in. You don't want your apples to get too done in this mixture. Alright, now I'm going to add a little bit of honey. My girl Gina, she, uh, ugh. I need to meet with her to get some of my honey, get some of Gigi's honey. So right now I'm using, you know, my bum, my bum honey, <laughs> the honey I, I use when I don't have Gigi's. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of honey. I like the flavor of honey, and I like the way it kind of, uh, I don't know. To me, it makes everything taste a little bit more richer when you're cooking with it bit more homemade <clears throat> with just the, you know it's like you can tell that little hint of honey is there just by the difference it makes in your food all right we're gonna add a little bit of salt i don't know if you can see it salt just just enough not a lot you don't want to kill yourself with salt you just want to have that bittersweet you know little taste come through all right now that I got it counted together, I'm going to pour it in four apples. These apples are already peeled. Four apples peeled and sliced. Throw it all in there. Alright, we're going to let this go for about Two, two to three minutes. Just kind of let it cook here. All the juices from the apples will release. <clears throat> then you'll have a nice caramelized sauce. All right. I'm gonna wait two minutes and then I will show you what I'm what I'm looking at. All right. I have these apples on medium heat. All right. And I have let them. Let them go for um, 
two minutes. All right. Now I got this nice caramelization. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drain. You want to drain this off. Put it into your pie. Now I drain it to keep this crust nice and, um, you know, crispy. I don't want a... I don't want a soggy crust, and I'm going to take the rest of what's left inside, and I am going to make a glaze for the top with it. Alright, got my apples going, da da da. Does anybody else have my love affair with apples right now? This pie is so good, guys. <clears throat> can't wait till you eat it. And I can't wait till I'm done making it. Because I'm going to get the biggest piece of all time. Alright, so you drain everything out into your pie, like so. Alright, and then we're going to work on the cream cheese topper. Alright, after my... Um, I take my apples, strain my apples out. I got my liquid here. I'm going to let this cool, and it's going to kind of harden up and seize up, and it'll be more like a caramel texture, okay? <clears throat> I got my apples in my pie crust. And now, I am going to take one cream cheese, any kind you like. You do whatever you want to do. And then I'm going to take... One half a cup of sugar. I'm going to pour that right in. And one egg. <laughs> and I'm going to put that right in, just like that. Alright, now all I need to do is mix this together. of vanilla. all around <laughs> pretty much and then you're gonna just spread it out and you get it all on there and I would love to hear you guys uh comments or 
you know, let me know how this turned out for you. This is about the best pie I ever ate personally. But, well, cheesecake, really. So you get it all spread on. And then bake in the oven at 375. Alright, I got it all on there. And I'm going to put it in the oven, like I said, for at 375 for about 20 minutes. And I'm going to come back and check on it. I can't wait till this thing gets done. I'm going to have to put a warning on this. If you live alone, do not make this. Because I ate a whole pie by myself. Mm, mm, mm.